Howdy folks and welcome back to the Kapaku server. We are going to work a Cepha today to um, get some emerald trades with some villagers so that we can find this mending book that I keep talking about to apply to my elytra. But first of all, we have to get some emeralds from a farmer that Cepha has at their base. So I brought a whole bunch of farming-like trades. I hope it'll work. And then we'll... Um, go from there and let's see is it this way no it's over this way i think i think i remember this huh so anyway we're gonna trade with this farmer get some emeralds and then hopefully get this mending book to apply to my elytra because one of the things i want to do soon is fly around and map out the area but i want to be able to fly first and the elytra that was so generously given to me which i appreciate doesn't have much durability so i haven't been using it so let's head down to the Cephas base and try to find this farmer. Alright, so I was told to drop down where the beacon is. Except I don't see a beacon. Let's see. Um, is that me or that Cepha? I don't know. Um, oh, that's where we are because there's a portal. Oh, Cepha sees me. I don't see Cepha. Oh, there we go. Alright. This way, I guess. Alright, so... Get some of these. There's two of those. Oh, I didn't bring potatoes. Brought carrots, though. Alright, got some of those. All right, off to the librarian. All right. All right, so I need three more emeralds, and it looks like Seth is going to loan me three emeralds. Because there's not a cleric around for my flesh trade. So, um... Let's see, we're going to get some emeralds from Cepha. Oh, there's the beacon light. It was right behind me. Okay, looks like we're going back to the nether. Uh, is Cepha stuck? Alright, here we go. Looking for this special villager. Alright. Whoa. Server leg. Awesome. Where in the world are we? No, oh, this is the witch farm. I wanted some gunpowder. I wanted some gunpowder and um, so I can make some rockets. So I took some. <laughs> and I'll come back in AFK to replenish it. Just like all these other things. I'm taking mental notes of what I... Oh, whoops, I went right through the portal. <laughs> Hardest part of the game. So how do we get there? That was down from Cephas base. Okay. Going this way. So yes, I'm taking mental notes of what I need to return and what I need to replenish. So I know it's just take, take, take. So if I can AFK for a while and help out, I will. Oh, well, this is pretty. Oh, well, that was kind of cool down there. Quick glimpse of more than nether. We've been going for a long time, by the way. I think it's been a four minute walk so far. And looks like we're coming up on a portal. We are. And where are we going to come out? I think it's going to be night too by now. And whoa. We just exited the portal like three times. Oh, it is night. Yep, it's night. Alright, here we go. Seth is very good at this game. Checking around looking for mobs. I'm just running. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did stuff go invisible? Or. Oh, there we are. Ah, there's some secret stuff. Compartments. Oh, here. Huh. Well. What's this? Mending a book. Plus 26. Alright, so 
we got our mending book. I'm very excited. So now I can fix my lighter and fly. This is awesome. Alrighty. So, bunch of monsters. Um, bunch of monsters around. And, um... Where's the portal, though? Oh, down here. <laughs> I'm already lost. All right, back to where we came from. All right, so anyway, sorry that the narration kind of cuts out when I'm collaborating and talking to others and chatting in chat, but um, that's just the nature of multiplayer. So I'm going to thank Sefa, or maybe we're just heading back together, I guess. I guess we'll just head back together. Then I'll thank Sefa, and then we'll get this... Um, a light from mended and we'll get out of there buddy and we will be able to fly around a little bit change of plans <laughs> again Sefa found me and we're gonna check out the base um, it belongs to gosh what's the name Jellyo says jelly Jellyo says I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but um, it's a gigantic oh here we go Right there. Jellio, Jellio is je, Jellio's, Jellio's is base. That's startling. All right. And it's a big mansion, I believe. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. That's intense. Is this the viewing platform up here? How come I don't know how to get up a ladder? I've been wanting to check this out since I joined the server. Um, we all started at the same time, but this was built, I think, kind of started right away because I remember seeing pictures in Discord. Isn't that amazing? Wow, check that out. I like this pond over here, too. That's really cool. Oh, there's spruce. Hmm. But I'm not taking that spruce. In fact... I was going to talk about that. Might as well talk about it now. The only wood I'm missing of the six is spruce. And I found a place to get spruce, which I'll disclose in the next episode. It's not here. I'm not going to take this person's spruce. But I found a place to find some. And like I said, I'll talk about that in the next episode. But for now, let's see if we can get down this ladder. I'm so bad at ladders. This is so cool. Whoa. Oh. That was interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so what's going on in here? Oh, I hear spider. I finally said spider, not snake. Oh, I also know where to get dogs. Which I'll talk about in the next episode as well. I guess this kind of makes this our first base tour. Um, the fact that you're watching this means I've had permission to post this. So that's been taken care of. But, um, yeah, this is awesome. This is really cool. Oh, no blocks. Oh. In a minecart. I assume it can still teleport out of there. Very cool. Multiple levels. Ooh, there's a nice fireplace. Kind of have a seat. Sit down and watch the fireplace. That's kind of cool. Huh. <laughs> Just like that, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, I like that painting. That's really cool. Huh. Some more puppy dogs. Another fireplace. This isn't like the big dining room, I would imagine, or something. Or one of many, perhaps. Ooh, here's the kitchen. Very nice. Oh, I heard a cat or something. Another fireplace. Oh, parrots. Hello, parrot. Nope. Closet, private, do not enter. Okay. <laughs> Suf and I are not on Discord, by the way. So all of our communication is either nonverbal or in chat. In case you're wondering. I am still talking less than normal for narration, though. But like I said, that's just how it goes. 
Very cool. What else? This is just amazing and a lot of work. I like all the hidden lighting too. Very awesome. Oh, this is the bathroom. Nice. Wow, nice job. Wow. Little bathrooms. Oh, like a reading, pink reading nook. No, oh, pink bedroom. I like how the colored glass looks like curtains, and then you've got the um, banners to be curtains. This is so creative. Oh my gosh, that must be a closet. This is so neat. I wonder if that's a like computer monitor. Oh yeah, there's a mouse. I love it. Man, I don't know how people come up with this stuff. I know it's not like super complicated. We're not building rockets to get to Mars or something, but still, this is just beyond me. My creativity lies in music, piano, guitar, composition, like you can see on my YouTube channel for my music. Hint, hint. However, when it comes to this kind of creativity, I just like to dig and make patterns <laughs> and go explore, even though I haven't done much exploring. This is awesome. Whoa. Parrots and dogs, we'll be getting those ourselves soon too. Whoa. What's this, I wonder? Oh, like a coat room or something, maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. Very cool. This is incredible. Oh, I love how that looks like a bath towel hanging. What else? Another meeting room or something of sorts. This is so neat. And this is survival, by the way. So, um, the builder of this did not go into creative to do this. This is all gathered resources. If this person was given creative mode rights, which I highly, highly doubt, but if so, I'm not aware of it. Um, I'm pretty sure this person has done 100% survival. Hey, zombie dude. I get you from here. Quit moving. Oh, <laughs> way too far. Not even close. Am I gonna get it first? Hey, the skeleton out there. Gotcha. Nice. Super cool, super fun. See, I'm not afraid to fight zombies. What? Is there a spider? Um, that's not how interspecies work there, spider buddy. But that is really funny. Oh boy, we're gonna go out there? No, I don't wanna go out there. Although, I have no problem fighting monsters when I'm alone. I mean, when I'm with somebody. How many bathrooms does this place have? Like, 12? All right, I guess we're heading out. Oh, I just saw which. No, I didn't. That was a portal. Um, I'm more worried about the creepers. Nice shot. Don't move. Gotcha. Oh, I guess I missed. Leave the sheep alone, you goofball. Oh, well. Whoa, that was a good shot. Oh my gosh, didn't even hit the... Didn't even hit the animal. Hey, creeper. Look at you. Yay! Boom. Oh, there's a little creeper back there. Not a little creeper, but... There's a creeper. Enderman. 
Don't want to get those guys. The moon is halfway through night. Oh, I see. Trying to get the... Oh, got it. Good job. <laughs> Man, bunch of Endermen out there. Oh, just short. Try again. Got him. Sniper duo. What is that? Achievement sniper duo? Huh. Hmm, there's a horse. Oh, a white horse. Oh, something over here. Oh, let's not do that. Something up there? Ooh, good eye. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Jump! And I made it. So many creepers. My goodness. Well, there's something else I was going to mention. I was fishing for some stuff. And I got an enchanted bow with mending. So I combined it with my other bow. And my infinity enchantment disappeared for some reason so i have a new bow i guess sort of a new bow but i have to carry arrows with me now which is fine i have like 500 arrows but i have to carry them with me it's a pigman party it's a pigman party hello yep i remember when i whacked you on accident and all you guys chased me yep actually i'll be seeing your friends soon because i'm gonna bring my elytra with and use the pigment farm to mend that thing that's my plan anyway all right we are going oh do i have enough to do this all right here we go mending on my elytra look at that so the question is do i need to wear it to mend it or can it be in my hot bar to mend it i'm going to find out i'll be right back Okay, I can wear it or mend or hold it. Okay, awesome. Let's bring our veggies back. And then we'll head up to the pigment farm and mend this thing. And I don't want to ruin my surprise for y'all. So I will meet you at the pigment farm. And up to the pigment farm we go. I have um, my elytra with me and rockets too. But we're not going to map anything in this episode. That's going to be in a near future episode but we're just gonna head up here and um, we will get it fixed up and it looks like Sefa's using the farm so there's gonna be a line of all the times this is so fun to watch. This is so funny to watch. It's like a sci-fi movie. It really is. <laughs> this is great. So let's put on our elytra so that it mends. At least it should mend. And we'll just wait our turn. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I can get this in one. Bam! Oh, I hit him, but nothing happened. That was strange. All right, that guy's still mad, so I need to hit someone else. How about you? There we go. Thank you. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I mend it up. I don't think there's an add-on that tells us the durability. We'll just have to see. This only thing you have right now is mending. Well, that is mending. Let's move that out of the way. There it goes. Check it out. Whoa. Wow. That took like three seconds to mend that thing. That's insane. Mend this. Mend this, hey. Huh. Well. Let's get this thing going. Can I get you up there? Whoops, that didn't work. How about you? Can I get you? Gotcha. Okay, now let's mend my bow. I think my bow is mending. Yep. And the bow is mended. How awesome is that? Well, we have elytra. We have rockets. 
as long as I remember that my Lytra is not on or on sometime. All right, we are going to head back to base and practice flying without me spoiling spoiling my project. Um, I think I'm going to have to devise a system that if I have the Lytra on, the rockets are in the hot bar. If I ever take my Lytra off, rockets come out of the hot bar because I do still need to use my chest plate armor. And that is one thing I've always thought was really cool about Minecraft is you can't have Elytra and your chest plate at the same time. So it's a little bit of like decision you have to make there, which I like that idea, having to make decisions. You can't just have it all. Um, torches are some experience over there. Some stuff must have fallen down. Oh wait, I want this guy. Let's see if I can get some more magma cream or maybe he's already too small. Although, I've got Mingma... Oh my gosh, you see that server leg? Um, actually, you probably didn't because you don't know when to click the button. Anyway, there's about a five second, four and a half second server leg there. All right, let's um, let's head back to base and try out this Elytra right after I get this experience ball. Not that it did any bit of good. All right, I'll see you back at base. All right, we're gonna try this flying thing. We are behind my base, so I don't have any spoilers. And um, server leg is horrible, so I'm hoping I'm hoping this works. I'm gonna jump and then hit space again and then rocket, I guess. Let's see what happens. And we're flying. I can't believe it. And these are duration one rockets. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wow, look how big that forest biome is. Real forest. Wow. Like I said, we are going to map this out in a future episode. Sunflower biome, how nice. More with forest. That's crazy. So here you can see our front yard. Take a screenshot of that. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. My Minecraft experience just completely changed. All I need... Uh-oh. Is that server leg? Okay, we're still alive. Alright, I see why now people actually do use the Flight 3 rockets. It does, I can see why, but this allows the server to load everything. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I, I, I'm just going to enjoy this for a minute. Okay, we're going to try to land. And I almost fell in my hole that I covered up. I had a big hole here. There it is. I almost landed in my huge hole. Wow. So cool. Alright, let's enjoy the night scenery for the brief time we have it since Seth is sleeping. Hope you enjoyed the episode, folks. I can fly. I noticed that the elytra already has a little bit gone on it, a little bit of durability gone, but that's okay. Um, yeah, my Minecraft experience just changed completely now that I can fly around. So I'm very excited to map out this area. That's the plan. Not next time, though. We have something else planned for next time. But pretty soon, we'll map out the area, and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun flying around. I'll experiment with different flight duration rockets, but for right now, I like the slow ones because it gives the world a chance to load under your wings, so to speak. But anyway, with that being said, have a great time, and I'll catch you on the next one.